Hi there. Welcome to Campfire Stories. It is so good to have you here. I know that you're not really here, but that you are here because we're connected. We're connected by airwaves, and we're connected by people that we love. We're connected by little invisible strings all over. So I'm going to read you a story about that. You know, God's love is very much like an invisible string that connects us to each other. And we're able to feel that love through one another, sometimes even when we're far away. So I'm going to read you a story called The Invisible Web. The Invisible Web by Patricia Karst, illustrated by Joanne Lou Vrothoff. The very best news ever has begun to spread all over the world. One heart at a time. Shout it from the mountaintops. Every single one of us is connected to those we love by invisible strings. That means Giovanna and her daddy are always together, even though he moved to a new house. Omar can feel the tugs of love from his parents, even though he's living far away at school. And Mr. Chang still feels Mrs. Chang close by, even though she died a very long time ago. And you, at this very moment, may feel the string of someone close to you, even though they aren't there. You can't see it, but it's real. Our strings reach to everyone we know. They travel far and wide to families and friends and classmates and coaches, to bus drivers and babysitters and neighbors and pets, to aunts and uncles and grandparents and grandchildren and countless other people. And all of those people have hundreds of strings. Soaring high over the rocky peaks and across the seven seas, deep into the jungles and valleys, and winding through the busiest of cities, all these strings crisscross one another and create a nest that covers the planet, interlacing us together, cradling us forever. The web has no borders and wraps every continent. And within it live butterflies and flowers and starfish and seahorses, lions and ants, rivers and snowstorms, and all human beings. Giovanna and Omar, Mr. Chang, and of course, you and me too. Some say it even reaches to our ancestors and those we cherish in the beyond. One tug of a string sends love to every one of us woven together in this divine tapestry. And that means just one good deed travels across the entire web. Everything is linked. But sometimes folks forget. When they can't feel their strings, they forget about the invisible web. And that's when the strings get tangled up. Like when lonely Louisa isn't invited to sit with anyone at her school at lunchtime. Or when Stefano wishes his friend Marcos wasn't so bossy when they played. Or when Mrs. Patel struggles at work without help. and She just wants to quit. Even violence and war 
can erupt when too many of us forget the web. When strings are ignored, they can become weak and begin to unravel. But the more people who care for the web, the stronger it remains. The web feels like every parent since the beginning of time holding and protecting each of us in millions of gentle arms. What could be stronger than all those hands holding us close? So many supportive fingers can always find a way to untangle strings so that love can flow again. But it's up to every one of us to spread the word. Our time is now. As we tell our family and friends, sisters remind brothers who will write to cousins, who will call their grandparents, who will just nod and smile as they have always known. If we remember the web and tug at it often, Nobody will ever be left out. We will see others more clearly. The people of the world will look into each other's eyes and they will smile at one another. And when one of them cries, they will all want to help. And they do. Marcos apologizes to Stefano, who forgives his friend, and they have even more fun playing. Someone helps Mrs. Patel at work and tells her what a great job she's doing. She remembers that she's important and she feels happy. And Luisa feels warm and bubbly inside when a few of the kids in class ask her to join them under the banyan tree for lunch. She knows right then that the invisible web is real. And after school, Louisa cries with joy as she strokes her cat, who purrs the news to the stars. And the stars whisper the secret to the clouds, who share it with the songbirds, who serenade the world with this exquisite melody of love at the start of each new morning and all during the day until as the invisible web glitters in the magic of twilight, the owls take over and hoot the good news throughout the night. The invisible web is alive. Its time is right now. It breathes as we breathe, pulsating all over our earth. The single heartbeat of life and love. And you, and do you know what makes us all? One very big family. P.S. I just love being right here in the very middle of the invisible web with you. So God's love is just like that invisible web. It lives in us, it moves in us, and it goes to everyone that we meet. So when you think that you're all alone, remember that you're connected by an invisible web. Thanks for joining us for Campfire Stories today. <laughs>